Well, guys, we're talking about the compressibility uh, factor, and probably you're asking yourself, where are we going to get this C factor or compressibility factor? Are we going to calculate it, or what are we going to do? And we're going to be using compressibility charts. You may use tables as well, but you will need a lot of tables, so that's not that common. The most common one will be to get compressibility charts. And what do I mean with this is essentially, imagine you have the C value as the Y axis, and you got your pressure here, the X axis. And you do this exercise for air, and you do it for one temperature, another temperature, and a lot of temperatures. So you have different values here. And you will choose, let's say you want this value here, 350, and the temperature of 100 Kelvin, and then you go directly to the value of C. So you get this compressibility factor of 1.4. And so on, guys. But you may also need high temperature, so you're right here. And don't stick that much into this graph, because we're going to make this graph for many of the substances, not only air, we're going to have hydrogen, helium, CO2, CH4, look how they deviate, they have curves and so on, and probably you're wondering yourself, so what, we're going to find each of them in every, let's say, table, graph, what if I need for, I don't know, uh, air, okay, I got it, but what if I need methane, I'm going to use this one. But what if I use NH3 or ammonia? Where is it? Where can I find it? And the true thing is that we will not be using this type of diagrams. We are going to make a master chart or master diagram. Uh, because then we will need one chart for each substance, which is not that recommended. So we're going to find out that this law, the law of corresponding states, is going to help us a lot in building this compressibility chart right here. But I am going to break that in another video. See you in the next one. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.